All right, everybody knows what it is. I mean, frankly, I just love watching this. It's, it's Saddam Hussein being hung. But who would have imagined the guy would have whipped out a cell phone during one of the most significant historical events in the past 20 years, and a half hour later it would have been up on the net? Unimaginable, but this is the new reality. Now, let's talk about obvious sources. Sources that I, as an investigator, use many times a day, and I thank you for contributing to. All self-contribution of data. Obviously, MySpace, number one. MySpace will tell me your name, your age, where you live, where you went to school, who your friends are, which I have to tell you is a wonderful thing for an investigator, because I can go and interview them. Your musical taste, books, friends, residences, hobbies, children, parents, siblings, and politics, drug use, sexual orientation, criminal history, email addresses, finances, I, which I can't believe. Personal conflicts, psychological problems. Now, a few truly ridiculous examples. <laughs> this is a real web page. You can go and look it up through the MySpace search engine, unless she's in this room and running out the back door and yanking it down. <laughs> I mean, this is actually, now by the way, this is a public web page. I covered her face because she's 17 years old. And people make, as you can see, remarkably stupid mistakes when they're 17. And this is being immortalized. I can't see where the camera is, but this will be out on DVDs by tonight. So I didn't want her face up there. But as you can see, the caption of this page is, I'm a big badass slut and I love sucking. I won't say it. Let's try to keep this a PG DVD. The thing, that crack, the thing that cracks me up is she says her current state is sleeping and she's happy. Probably because she spent all night. <laughs> you see, that's why I got picked up by the feds. <laughs> and people put up there on their web pages drug use. Here's Ganja Girl who gives her name, where she lives. Uh, her interests are hanging out with friends, partying, i.e., if you don't know what partying is, i.e., drinking, getting high, and weird kinky sex. She's bisexual, a Pisces, uh, a graduate of Hiles Anderson College, and the manager of the pizza factory. Okay. Maybe not the manager of the pizza factory anymore, but pretty remarkable she put that up there. Any ringing cell phone gets confiscated. Where, where's... Where's my security team? I want that. <laughs> now, oh, this is, this is a hilarious one. <laughs> the, guy, the guy puts his name up there. He's 19 years old. The motto is just effing kill yourself. He gives his name, his date of birth, where he's from, his background. And uh, what's his plans? He plans to become a police officer. <laughs> Oh, here's another guy. As you can see, he's pointing a shotgun into the camera. He gives his name, his date of birth, his city, his state. He says he currently smells like gunpowder and Axe body spray. He's a detention officer. And when it says, tell us about your family, he says, what family? OK. <laughs> oh, by the way, I gave a talk at Cal Poly Pomona and uh, the, at, the, at the Secure IT conference. I gave an example of how easy social engineering is these days when you can get the entire background on somebody. And before I gave the talk, the local organizer said, try to find something, you know, specifically about our school so people can relate to it. <laughs> well, here's the Cal Poly Pomona Stonis. And, and, and their reason for existence is if you go to Cal Poly Pomona or live nearby, you love the herb and you're down for group sessions, you need to join this group. Sadly, the day after I gave the talk, every single one of the people on this page were arrested. Now, yeah, really true, really true. Two, it was either the day after or two days after. And I got a lot of nasty emails to which I responded two things. Number one, you're a moron, you put it on MySpace. <laughs>